party captain? You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack, you're out cold. That makes no sense. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Yeah, well, uh, go easy on the booze. It doesn't mix well with high seas. That's how accidents happen. Roger that. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. So, how did you figure it out? Everyone was just looking at where the plane was headed. But I asked myself, where was the plane from? You know, where was that airbase? So I made some guesses based on that hypothetical return flight, and I guess I guessed good. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later.
Why do I keep these around? Well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do tell. Mm, maybe later, if you stay on my good side. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh-oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. <sighs> Julia, leave it. 
You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't need a lifeguard. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a U.S. base. They were on their way to help out a ship. down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. Wow. What the hell happened here? Little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Oh God, Alex. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, okay. I, uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's, it's not the best time. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? <sighs> it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Hey, seriously, what's going on? Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just forget it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on, we've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My brother's up there. Julia! This is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now, go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? 
Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry, uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? I expected it to be cool, but that was, that was like life-changing cool. What an adventure. I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Bullshit. You're staring off into the ocean like a zombie and now you're all grumbly. I'm sorry. Just tell me what's up. I guess I've just been worrying about things a lot lately. About us. There's nothing to worry about, really. I honestly don't know what got into you. Everything's great. Okay. Yeah. You're right. I'm gonna go find Brad and Conrad and Fliss. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure.